Grand Rising Wonderful Souls and welcome to Bronwyn's Cove Tarot. This is a collective timeless reading on what is coming forward. If you are a new face, welcome in. If you're an old one, welcome back. Nice to see you, my lovelies. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments and your subscribes. Thank you for your donations. They are always truly appreciated and thank you for your emails. Emails sharing confirmation, stories and booking readings. My readings are open. Um, please have a look in the description box if that interests you. Um, the energy that I pick up on is timeless and fluid. Okay, That just means that I pick up on past, present and future energy and sometimes a mixture or an amalgamation of all three. So you have to take what resonates and leave the rest. If I say he, she, masculine or feminine, male or female, we all hold these energies. So you have to take it how it resonates with you but use your discernment please do not make the story fit if it doesn't and if there is no message in this reading for you please have a look at some of my other ones i've got quite a few um if you find none there you may either need a personal reading or the messages are just not for you at this time legal disclaimer i am not a lawyer i am not a doctor or nurse i am not a therapist i am not an account accountant or anything like that any messages that come up that resonate with you in those areas please ensure that you are taking the advice of professional um professional people in those areas before you take any advice from me or any advice from the messages that come through because i will not take responsibility for your actions okay now with that being said let's crack on and get on with this now i had this the song by um oh, what is her name she sang um spoonful of sugar julie something but i had the song um when the dog bites, when the bee stings, when I'm feeling sad, I simply remember my favourite things and then I don't feel so bad. Somebody has got like a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a swing or swag going on. Someone is in a really good mood and they're counting their blessings. So something's either come through for them or they're just in a really happy place. Someone here is really they're happy about something and I want to find out who and how this connects into the collective. How does this connect into the collective? What do they need to know? A tower that has been dodged, a bullet that's been dodged. A child, you've got child of wands, you've got the chariot upside down here on the at the back. The hanged one is upside down. Before I look at those ones, let me look on here. And the six of cups something was something from the past has been blocked or removed or someone from the past has been blocked or removed somebody's been pouring into their own cup because that child of wands is giving me petty energy or this was it's almost like a sexual uh, someone tried to advance on someone sexually and they were just like no not happening not happening someone's quite happy that they were able to read this or block this because you've got the chariot in reverse and then the hanged one in reverse so this is like two polar opposite energies the hanged one is about a pause you know wait yeah it's about the hanged one is about a pause but with that being upside down it's almost like um a wait for something is over but the chariot is about a lack of movement so i don't know if somebody is just standing very true and holding i heard holding the fort because underneath though you've also got the five of swords this can also be somebody who's kind of in their element because they feel like they've sent something to you or the person you're thinking of and they're like oh yes it worked i am that buddy it worked this time it actually worked this time i have dodged a tower and I heard reversal, the re there's something about a reversal spell or the reversal. So let's find out. Somebody's definitely standing in their power though. Whether that is you or somebody who is trying to send energy towards you. Be that positive energy or negative. But that five of swords there. I don't know if this is like winning a fight. Or one person's words or voice rang true or against all the other ones because all the other swords have been thrown on the floor they're all down except for one and this crow is just perched there with great balance it's all yeah it's almost like somebody i don't know if this is like a, a circle of friends or this is a circle of people or something and they tried blocking something and something was blocked for a very long time 
and now that energy has been opened. I don't know if they were expecting you or the person that you're thinking of to make, to take action or to do something, but instead it's almost like being quite comfortable where you are. But there is an air of caution there. Do not get comfortable in your comfort zone. I need to take a little sip of my coffee. I know it's not the best thing that I should be drinking right now, but I need my coffee, even if it is only decaf. You have Ace of Pentacles to the Two of Swords. There is a definite want or will or intention to invest. Somebody wants to invest. Somebody wants to invest. I don't know if this is because you did dodge something. What is this investment about? The Sun card. Tell me, Clouty on the Sun card. That's too many cards, is it not? Take them back, okay. Something is definitely growing. I don't know if someone's pregnant here or someone's gonna find out that they're pregnant. Someone's really happy that they found out that the pregnancy wasn't theirs. Somebody is walking along like elbows up, like this child isn't mine, the drama is gone, that kind of energy, I'm not joking. What has that got to do? This is really random. So I really want to put this one here, right? Put it there. Okay, so I've been told to put the sun card underneath the five of swords. Somebody is happy that they've come out the winner, okay? What did they win? What did they win? Child of Cups. Something, this is almost like um, the Page of Cups, right? Somebody thinks that they've won your hand or they've, there's some sort of victory that they're going to get with you interesting i feel like saying interesting with this with the voice of um ren from ren and stimpy interesting i don't know this energy is coming through someone is feeling really they're really feeling themselves tell me about the tower tell me about the tower please and thank you the five of pentacles someone really feels like they have dodged a bullet or they've come out the other side of some sort of tower something that maybe they've been holding off for a while and i heard someone's run away from it this is some really weird energy tell me about the five of pentacles to the tower in reverse the moon card someone has dodged a bullet here this is almost like a I went to I went to say like a gender a baby gender reveal party there's some sort of information has been given to a masculine here okay and they are over the flipping moon they are like I do not have to be around this person anymore thank Jesus seriously this person is so happy tell me about the six of cups why did I get the six of cups eight of cups in reverse this is somebody who wants to offer you something and they are adamant they want to offer you something. They may have stayed in a relationship for a very long time with somebody. Eight of Cups to the Six of Cups. Oh, we. This energy, the magician. This is someone's twin flame. This is somebody's um, soulmate. This person is happy at the moment. They, there's a sense of freedom that I'm getting. They're kind of a bit giddy. I'm getting this kind of pump, 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 bed up. This person might be, um, I'm getting this person might be at the gym. Like at present, they might be at the gym, like working out, like really feeling themselves. They're letting go of some pent up energy that they've been holding on to because some sort of information has been brought to light for them. Something that was held in the dark for a very long time. Something that they knew with their intuition, but they needed proof of. And they've been given that proof or they've been given some sort of resource. Something's been handed to them that has given them such a sense of freedom. And I heard you aren't the person that they said you were. And I'm getting that there was a third party that said something about your stature, about your character, about you. And 
this person, especially with this into being about the intuition, about what's done in the dark, this person intuitively already knew this wasn't about you, knew that you didn't do this, but there's been evidence that's been given. But it's more than that. There's something that's freeing this person and they are so chuffed. They're just so chuffed, seriously. Like they're, they're so happy. You've got Elder of Swords coming out to the Hierophant, to the Emperor, to the Ace of Swords. Oh my gosh. This person, I don't know if this is a lawyer, if they had a lawyer. The Hierophant in reverse. This is um, news that, this is like negative news from a, high, a, a bigger authority, be that um, a court hearing, be that something to do with like divorce, separation, something along these lines. And this, this message or whatever's come through has made, left this person feeling like this. They literally feel so good, so good. They feel really strong, really empowered. I don't know if they were kind of ignored for a very long time or felt trapped because you have got the Seven of Swords. There was definitely something that was keeping them up for a very long time. It was stopping them from sleeping, from resting properly because you've got here the Four of Pentacles. It was something that they were, I don't know if they felt controlled or if they felt like there was no way out of this. But you've got the Eight of Swords underneath. Freedom. They felt this sense of freedom. They felt this sense of freedom. Seriously. Like, I feel like this person could go onto the top of a roof and just scream with joy. Excuse me. Scream with joy that, you know, I am free. I can get away from whatever this experience is for them. Because it could be a divorce. It could be leaving a job that had a lot of tanglements to it. But this person now feels like an emperor. They feel so good. So flipping good. I'm going to put this one here and this one here with that one there. Tell me about the child of wands. What is it? What is it that they feel so good about? Should I put these back? Yeah. What has got them feeling like they're on top of the world? What's got them feeling like they're on top of the world? I'm on top of the world, yeah. <clears throat> Explore of cups in reverse. There is something malicious or something like callous, nefarious, something that somebody has said or somebody has done, but there's proof of this. And I heard, I blocked a bitch. I blocked a bitch. I don't know if this masculine stops someone from doing something that would be, um, would end, the end result would be really bad for you which makes sense why I've got Child of Wands here. The Child of Wands to the Explorer of Cups. This person, whoever it was who was, because I keep hearing a third party, they wanted to do something. This third party wanted to do something, but they were blocked. They were stopped from doing it. Whatever intention they had for you has fallen back onto them. And... I don't know why, but this masculine is chuckling. He's chuckling. <laughs> he is, he doesn't give a shit. Excuse my language. Okay. Tell me more. I've got that song. I'm on top of the world. I'm on top of the world. Yeah. <laughs> You've got the ace of swords. I told you this person wants to stand at the top of a mountain, a mountain top and scream for joy. Okay. What is he so joyous about? What did he find out? He found out about whoever he was with, whoever this partner or whoever this person was. He found out who they were. And it's like he always knew because you've got the Ten of Swords here as well. This is bringing in deep healing for this person, deep healing. But tell me more. I want to know why is he on top of the world? Why is he on top of the world? Why is he on top of the world? Temperance and Ten of Pentacles. Because there has been, I have a feeling that whatever went through court for him has really gone in his favour. Because you've got temperance here, okay? It's all about balance. This is taking time to kind of alchemize the, the pain with the pleasure. Okay, things that are great, things that go well and things that really don't. Because I was about to say, no, it went in his favour. I don't know if like it's just the ending of something and he's just so happy about it because you've got, I heard, taken him to the cleaners and you've got Ten of Pentacles. So if he was in a relationship, 
with somebody, this third party, or the third party was at like a partner in a business or something like this. This person has literally swept the, him with the floor, but it's almost like he doesn't give a shit. He don't care because it's over. He does not care. It's done. It's literally done. The fact that we got the magician card here though, is whoever this is that thinks that they've taken him to the cleaner and left him in the 10 of pentacles in reverse. And you look at that 10 of pentacles with that tree trunk, that's really strong. It's really sturdy. It, it has everything it needs to draw those, you know, from the roots up through its body and into its, its branches, everything that it needs, nutrients, water, everything being upside down. Whoever it is, it's almost like he doesn't care if they think that they took him to the cleaners. That magician, he's resourceful. He has other resources that they don't know about. And that may be why he's like, ha 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 ha, thank you all. I love this. I love this. For whoever this is, whoever's twin this is, I love this. Okay, he's great. He's great. Because look, you've got Guardian of Pentacles. And then you've got the Ace of Cups. When whoever finds out the fact that he he is he seems to be very astute. I heard speak when spoken to. So I don't know if something went through the courts and he just he was very, you know, temperance card, very chill. I'm not saying anything unless I'm told to. He hasn't spoken about, yeah, he has not spoken about some other abundance that he has you know, up his sleeve or some other venture that he has up his sleeve or something that either wasn't signed with his name or something along those lines so it couldn't be dragged through the courts because you've got the nine of wands in reverse, okay? This is, the nine of wands is, you know, the wounded warrior. It's somebody who has been through a lot. With it being upside down, this person has healed. This person has healed from this or... I feel like this person's been through some sort of battle and whoever it is that was attacking him didn't know that there was other abundance cooking, other money or projects that were cooking there, or they couldn't get their claws into whatever that project was. And it's a big project. It's something that's going to bring in a lot of money, a lot of money, but they couldn't claim it. They couldn't claim it for some reason. That's probably why he's like, mwah, mwah. This person was properly trying to get their claws in it because you've got the death card in reverse and then you've got the Ten of Swords upside down. Why did I get the Ten of Swords upside down though? That's interesting. Why Ten of Swords upside down? Why Ten of Swords upside down? Why Ten of Swords upside down? Oof. We've got here Two of Pentacles. I want to put this one over here. At the moment, there seems to be some sort of slowdown. But this person is juggling more than one thing at the moment because as much as they're really, really pleased with the outcome, even if they are, they've kind of been left with not a lot of money at the moment or not a lot of finances or a lot of resources, they're fully aware that they have resources. And with that chariot upside down, this may be why there is a bit of a blockage. And not so much a blockage, almost like a slowdown like they can't come forward because they want to but they can't at the moment because there's still there's still someone deceitful around them that they're having to juggle oh they're having to juggle this person there's something here about wanting you to get the justice that you deserve that you get exactly what you deserve and i mean in a positive way because you've got the high priestess here to justice and I heard karmic enforcer and look, I don't know if someone's going to buy you a house or someone wants to buy you a house or someone wants to pay for your mortgage because you've got wheel of fortune here. Somebody, whoever this person is, whoever this person is that was trying to send something towards you in the form of a blockage or a missed opportunity or a delay whether that is a delay to, um, you know, financial support for a, pro a project that you're working on, whether that was, you know, um, support in finance, financing you going through court for something. This masculine or this twin flame energy or this soul, this soulmate energy, this smart soulmate energy blocks something and he's really chuffed that he did. 
And this is the reason why, because over here with that, you know, the hanged one upside down, and then you've got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This energy has gone back. This energy has gone back to the source. It's gone back to that third party. You've got over here, Three of Swords in reverse. And I always say this, that you know what, when, when shit hits the fan, when we go through towers or we go through things that are really uncomfortable, if the universe has allowed that to come towards us, it's because we have something to learn from it. The universe will never send us stuff that we can't handle. And look, you've got justice coming out. Why have I got justice? Tell me more. What justice? Oh my gosh, these cards want me to do gymnastics today. Seriously, I'm so sorry. Let's see if I can pick you up. No nails. Nine of Pentacles. So that justice card to the Nine of Pentacles, there is a wish fulfillment that's coming in. Oh my gosh, this, whoever this person is who's going through it, you are their wish fulfillment. You are their wish fulfillment. They, oh my gosh, this person may have not known who you were. For some people, you already know your twin flame or your soulmate. You may have already interacted with them, but for many, you haven't. You have not. You may have only met in the ethers, okay? And when I got out that um, Emperor card, I don't know if I showed you properly, but the poppy in the middle, the little bits that are seeds, they're purple, which is literally from crown or third eye all the way down to the root chakra. This person is very aligned with your energy. And now they either have seen your face or they have an idea of who you are. And I think this is what's made them really excited. Because I heard I've got a... I've got a name to put to a face or I've got a face to put to a name or something along those lines. Someone's seen you. Someone has literally seen you. And it's like they, they knew for a very long time that they were unhappy where they were, but they didn't really know what the void was. And now that they know your energy properly, and I mean kind of like you can have a dream where you wake up and you're like, oh my gosh, I am so sure that I met someone in the, the astral realm. Or I had this amazing dream and you wake up and you write it down and you just feel connected or you feel like you're in someone else's energy. But this is almost like a waking dream. This person has had a daydream or something along those lines and then they've had some sort of sign of synchronicity or something's happened and they've just gone, oh my gosh, that's the person. That's the person I'm supposed to be with. That's the person I'm supposed to be with. I'm on top of the world, yeah. Wait. I swear, spirit, today you're trying to get me to work out. It's because I cut down my workout this morning. I've done a shorter one, so now spirit's like, well, do you know what? You're going to make up for it with all the cards you have to bend down and pick up, seriously. Oh, my goodness. And I'm not making bottom noises. That is just the paint on this chair. Listen, it's not going to do it now. I promise it wasn't. Now you've got here seven of pentacles, this person, um, there's something they want to work with you. They want to work out something with you. But you are also, you two are each other's wish fulfillment. You are each other's wish fulfillment. There's something in the past that they've been working on. I don't know if this is a manifestation. You should look at the reading that I've done previously talking about um, what you don't see right in front of your face because you've got the Four of Cups here to the Ace of Pentacles. You may have already interacted with this person, maybe even online and not realised because you've got the Two of Cups coming out to so the Seven of Wands, which is on the side, okay? To so the Guardian of Wands, at one point, this person stayed comfortable in the uncomfortableness of just being in a relationship to be in a relationship because they didn't want to be by themselves or you know when you just get so used to being in being around someone else's energy whether it is balanced or not whether it's trauma bonding whether it's gaslighting whatever it is you get used to just being there and doing that same old shit this person got used to it something you said something you did Something you created inspired them to take action. It inspired them to take action. And whether this action at the moment, because you remember, you've got to remember the energy that I'm picking up on is past, present and future. This could be literally them working on that secret venture. That means that they have the, you know, this magician energy. 
So they may be actually looking and going, hmm, I might have the resources now. I might have the resources now to leave, to go through that divorce or to go through that separation or to, you know, break that contract, that working contract I have with that business or blah, blah, blah. But you are their nine of coins. You are their nine of coins without a doubt, okay? And you've got the garden of wands. So this person is coming towards you. They're coming towards you. There is, the thing is though, you also have this energy of, well, they want to come towards you or are they making moves to come towards you? You're going to have um, energy of people being envious or jealous. If you are a creator, whether that's a content creator, whether you are a painter, illustrator, whether you're a dancer, whether you have your own blog or you're a writer, whatever it is that you create, if you are um, showing that to a wider audience in any which way that you do, whether it's through podcast, through video, blah, 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 you expect to see an uptake in people trying to scam and they're going to be really blatant about it in people kind of passive aggressively trolling. It's because... Actually, I'm very burpy at the moment. I apologise. It's just energy moving. It's because as your energy is elevating, as you're ascending, as you are moving from one paradigm to another, there it, you're going to ir irritate other people's demons with what you say, with how you create, with how you are authentically yourself. But that is also almost like a pointer that you're going in the right direction because you're literally letting go of energies that you used to vibrate with. It's almost like when I first started this channel, I took every comment so personally because it was such a leap of faith for me to go from watching tarot and intuitively knowing what the cards were going to say, pulling my own cards, speaking to my spirit guides and going, oh my gosh, I need to do this myself. Go back and look right at the start. Go back and look at the first videos I ever did. Okay, my hands are more or less shaking. And any comic that I got, I took it so personally, whether it was positive or negative, it was like, it gave me value. It gave, it made me feel valid. And, you know, I resonated with, even if someone was like, you are shit, what you're saying is rubbish. That's not what the cards say. You're not reading the cards right. And I used to get that. And I'd feel really hurt because I thought I'm putting myself out there. And it took time for me to just put my videos out and not expect anyone to watch them, just put them out because I wanted to put them out. And that's when the vibration changed. And I went from getting, let's say, two views to getting a thousand views. And this energy, as you are creating, as you are creating and not only just creating and expressing, but putting it out for other people to see, as you are vibrating higher and higher, you are going to get a kickback from those who aren't vibrating with you at the same. They're going to try and pull you back. They're going to try and, and, and press your buttons and get you to react to them and get you to respond. OK, and they're half doing it because they're actually acting from their shadow and they don't know. And half doing it because they want you to act from your shadow. So be aware of this. OK, please be aware. I don't know why I needed to say that, but that was definitely there for someone. Someone needed to hear this because look, you've got five of cups here. Five of cups coming out. Sorry, I don't know if you can see that. Five of cups to the seven of wands in reverse. Don't go to war with yourself, seriously. Don't go to war with yourself because there is definitely this energy. If you look at my, my last uh, video that I put up, it was talking about changing your vibration and your perspective when it comes to finances and abundance and how you receive that. And when you do so, the floodgates are going to open wide, seriously. This is also, I feel like a, a link onto that because you've got four of swords here to that ace of wands. You do have this person in the background, this third party energy who is staying up at night or it's constantly on this person's mind how they can slow you down because they're going to be one of these haters. They're going to be one of these trolls. They're going to be one of these people that is going to try and pull you back because they've been trying to pull this masculine back for a while because you've got ace of wands to the death card. There's something about your union or not wanting you to unite or you to come together. Why is this? And as I said that, that was 29.29. Not this one. What would you like me to take instead? Any? Any, please? These ones? I'd like to get just like one or two clarifiers, that's all. 
been told that by my uh, by my guides to hurry up. So that you've got clear solution and your sensuality is beautiful. I don't know if this is coming back to whoever your twin is. They they know your energy now. I think they're in your energy and I think you're feeling their energy. But if you all of a sudden start getting really giddy or start feeling really sad or start, you know, and you're like, this ain't my energy. What's going on here? Check. Ask yourself whose energy this is, because if you hear my twin or you hear the magician, for example, if that is your, your, your saying for it, you are feeling your twin's energy. OK, you've got powerful personal growth and a clear solution. Whatever it is that you are creating or doing, however it is that you are showing up every day, you are really inspiring other people, including whoever this soulmate is for you. And I think there is a worry coming from whoever this third party is that as this person starts to grow and as this person starts to expand and their vibration starts to, you know, to heighten, it's distance, it's distancing them from that person. I want to say the dark high priestess. All right. Yeah, because look, you've got here time for a change to learn something new, to use technology and gadgets with wisdom and it's upside down. Whoever was trying to spy on you has been blocked in some way. How interesting, because at the start we were saying that your twin or your soulmate did something to block this third party. He may have actually blocked them, whether that is in a spiritual manner, because we were talking about the emperor card with that poppy being all red and then, you know, the third eye in the middle being all purple, or that, you know, the seeds in them being purple. This magician may have blocked um, any kind of type of like dream invasion, or if you guys are meeting on the astral realm, he may have blocked this third party from being able to trace or track, or this could be actually on this 3D realm. He stopped, some, he stopped something from being able to come through to you. And you've got the power of three here. Okay. So the power of three is coming through for a clar clarifier. You've got ancient wisdom coming out as well. And I heard for someone specifically with the power of three, that's Anubis, Isis and Sekhmet. Okay. That will be for specific people. Or... I heard um, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Now you've got to remember with this, with the ancient wisdom with number four, this is to do with your fourth house, is to do with family. It's also, you have definitely got someone around you or energies around you that are protecting you, but I heard they protect this person as well, as in your, your twin. Look, glamour, intrigue, and drama. And that number up there is five. So there's definitely this energy of conflict trying to come towards you. Someone may need to cleanse out their solar plexus or start wearing yellow, eating yellow foods, um, wearing yellow crystals or things along those lines. There's something here about balance out, balancing out your, your um, sacral chakra because you also have here the gift of sacred sight and it's upside down. So whoever this third party is, is still trying to block your connection or block your, um, it's almost like your boundaries, your energetic boundaries, healing from heartbreak because this person is but hurt. They are angry. They may have done something to try and bind this magician to bind this twin. And that may be another reason why he's jumping for joy because he's no longer bound. He's no longer bound. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave it there. I really hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively know. If you are new to my channel, I would love you to hit on the like, sub sub blah, 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 the like, the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see more of my wonderful content. Um, if you are a return subscriber, hearts, kisses, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for supporting this channel. Um, I really do appreciate you and I really mean that. Um, anyone that is looking for a personal reading, all of my information is in the description box down below. With that being said, I hope you awesome, wonderful souls have a really good day, really good evening wherever you are in the world. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.